so today I'm out uh, trolling for walleye using bottom walkers. Starting in a little bit deeper water today than I normally would. I tend to favor bottom walkers in the spring when water temps are a little bit colder um, rather than in the fall when they're warm. But the fish have been a little bit finicky lately. We had a bright moon last night and they may have done a little bit of feeding through the night so I thought I would try bottom walkers a little bit and see I can't scrounge up a few keeper walleye this morning. I'm trolling in anywhere from 35 to 60 foot. I'm really covering a lot of depth range looking for those fish that are on the feed. Fish. Yep. I think I might have found them out here in this 40, 50 foot zone. Mark that spot. Slow and steady retrieve in the best technique. Good eater size walleye. That was on the orange and blue. I got that one way down in there. We had a couple bites right through there, both on orange and chartreuse. Finally scored a decent eater walleye here. There you go. Nice little 16 inch fish. So that was orange smiley blade, gold beads with a blue big bead in the middle there. Fish. Yep. I'll turn around and go back through where I got those two bites. They tend to stack up, so definitely hit your uh, mark point on your fish finder. Mark that spot and go back to it. Because there's a lot of places where walleye aren't, and there are very few places that they are. And we had bites on both of them, so there's no strong color preference today. Although I'm just using my favorite colors for walleye, which is chartreuse, golds, blues, and oranges. Purportedly, walleye color vision is supposed to peak in the orange range. Although I've always favored chartreuse for them. Not really marking large numbers of fish here, but that's pretty typical. These walleye sit so hard at the bottom. Trying to stay in that 0.9 to 1 mile per hour range. Yep, I had got stripped. That's what I thought I had a bite there. There's fish, fish right there. Nice. A little stool of them there, I think. Well, that one got stripped and then this one got hit. Probably while I wasn't looking. It's a decent little walleye. Good eater size. There we go. Hold him. That's a little small eater, but I'll take it. Well, we got bit twice going through that area, so I want to flip around and go back through. Just kind of keep hitting that same area over and over again. Seems to be 35 to 45 is the magic depth. So with three ounces, I'm having to let out about 85, 90 feet to keep contact with the bottom out of one mile per hour troll. Oh. There's a bite. See that? That was a tap. Didn't stick though. There he is. Got him. Shoot. Hung up again. Same thought. That's a bummer. I got hit on the way up on this one. 
Yep, I got a little walleye on this one. Just as it got to the bottom. This guy's not. Eh, he might be deeper. I'll check him. You gotta be 12 inches. Yeah, he's a keeper. I'll take him. <laughs> There's just a school of them stacked in here. Oh, he's deep hooked too. All right. Yeah, he's got barrow trauma. Brought him up in a hurry. All right, let's go get this other one back. This one got hit and then hung up on something. See if we can't get it off whatever it is down there. It's feeling very stuck though. So we can change that angle just a little bit. Ah, oh, that's not good. Lost it. Lost the whole shebang. Not like a log or something. That's walleye fishing though with bottom walkers. It's all about being on the bottom. That's where you lose gear. Fish. Yeah, fish, fish right there. Nice. And they're just stacked right in here. Yep, all these little 13, 14 inch males. Which, still get decent fillets off them. Not gonna be nice slabs of meat like that first fish I got, but I'll take it anyway. Let's just turn around and go back through the same area. That one even didn't take my worm. As soon as I got to the bottom there, I get a fish? Yep. There he is, got him. That was it. 47 feet. Not bad. Got me tangled up in the other line. There we go. Take him. Nice. You can get that other one out of there. Come here, buddy. Swam me over the other line. Happens. Not finding the big ones today, but just these little. Enough of these 14 inch males to make a meal. These little guys fry up really nice. It's like little pre-made fish sticks. There's fish right there. Go. Nice. That was on the worm harness. I have a double going. I think I do. There's one. Let's see if we can get the other. Nice. Doubled up. That's cool. Catching them on both the slow death hooks and just normal worm harness. Fish? Yep, right there. There's fish. On the turn. Sometimes walleye will do that, just like trout and kokanee, they'll hit on the turn. Standard size for the day. They love these slow death hooks though. Fish, fish. Yep. Got him. Right there on the turn. This could be my last fish of the day. 
is good because I'm down to one bottom walking crawler rig. I lost my slow death rig. All I've got are warm harness rigs. Let's see what this one is. My little Abu should tell me when it's getting close. It'll give me a little beep. There we go. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah. This will be a nice way to finish the day. Nice. Nicer sized fish, nicer grade of fish. Got it. Alright. Nice. And he's off. Look at that. It's a wheat. Well, it took about six hours of trolling, but I did finally get my limit of eight fish. Sometimes you gotta work at them. Alright, I'm gonna head into shore now and bust up my new Rapala lithium powered cordless fillet knife which has just been absolutely awesome. We're gonna bust out some nice looking fillets. I love these Banks Lake walleye because this is a top fed wa water reservoir so the water here is pumped out of the top of Lake Roosevelt. So it's just such clean water and uh, the fish always taste amazing here and cut amazing here. So let's get going. Walleye. Walleye. What is the latest in this lake? Eight. Eight? Does it matter size and... Uh, no, 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 size, 12 inches. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright guys, I got a big bag of white fillets there. I'm gonna call it a day, head back in. Hopefully, some time to get cleaned up and have a little fish fry tonight. If you have any questions about bottom walkers in the fall for deep water walleye, just let me know in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. I'll put links to everything that I use today as well. All right, guys, I'll see you next time out on the water. Just remember, fish smarter, not harder. Bye, guys.